talk about let's talk about men. It's always a great topic. So Mm-mm. <laughs> we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about men. <laughs> oh, it's my song. I love the song. Okay. I like sleepy, and we're going to turn up the music. Rafa, what are you doing at the door? You smelling some pussycat? Okay. So we're going to talk about men. Personally, I think older is better because they have more experience and... I don't know. I just like a like a, a man. And when I look at a man, he has to look like he carries everything. Not only, you know, being a man, that's one, but carrying himself as a working man, a hustler. Like, he has to have that within his blood. It can't be just something that, you know, it's a front. Like, because I'm not up for fronting because I don't front. As you can see, I look sleepy and tired because I'm a hustler. You know, that's what I do. I hustle. Do my stuff. But anyways, back to men. I just personally think that, um, hmm, that... If more people communicated, and I'm talking to you men, if y'all communicated more with y'all women, maybe y'all wouldn't have to go out and cheat because that's obviously an issue because men think it's okay to have multiple women and certain women tend to think that that's okay but certain women might be in a situation where they find out later on they might be already in love with that person so it might be just a little bit too late but we're not gonna gonna touch on that we're just gonna stick to talking about men and what do we think is like a, a good choice for you know I'm not going to say an applicant, but just a choice on trying to find. Not even trying to find because I don't even want to look. I'm not looking. Please believe it. I'm not looking. But I'm a single black woman, and my best friend's going to tell you her opinion. So here we go. GG, let them know. I mean, as far as men go and they have their women, you know, it is what it is. You can't speak too much on it. It should be just known as months, like, just men, period. I don't know what's going on. Jenny talk a lot, half of the time. So, I'm just trying to answer that question as far as men go and being with other women, stuff like that. Like, it is what it is. It was known, you know, the ratio and just being there. Man got more than one child, you know, you respect your you respect your ways and you keep it going. You know what I'm saying? As long as anything, like you gonna respect him, you gonna respect her, keep it moving, keep your mom moving in a positive or you know, in a healthy way. Um, I don't know, you know, like this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What she said. My best friend, that's her opinion. And that is at Loso Lady, L O S O L A D Y. But I feel her on that. When she said ratio, that triggered something in my brain. And I want to, you know, talk about that. With the ratio, is eight women to one man. Eight. So, with that being said, you know, there's thirsty women out there. And not only thirsty, but maybe a little bit hungry because they want to be married. And they ain't married. So, 
they don't they don't care they don't have respect for you know the man that wears a wedding ring and then i mean if you're in a situation where the man doesn't wear his wedding ring you know um you know you have nothing to respect so that's something that you know the women that are married need to check within their relationship and with their husbands but it does go on because um you know within the club lifestyle being a dancer you know i'm a retired dancer but yeah record ralph is a boy but um you know just within that industry you have men that you know leave their rings in their cars they put it in a pocket they might wear it but that's just like really you know, something that they're ashamed or they're trying to hide or, you know, they're not 110% like sure within themselves of like why I really do have this ring on my finger. So, yes, I say it again, um, to you married women, you need to make sure that everything is like, you know, durable and sturdy in your relationship because um men do get lonely men do get tired and men do um they get bored and so if you're not trying to do anything to like brighten up their day even though your day might be a little bit hectic or you know you might be feeling like you know on the lazy side of things you know, it's always good to have one day to yourself. But when you when you have a man or if you're dealing with a relationship, you should always, um, I mean, it's, it's sad to say, but you got to kind of put your man first before yourself because um, you have to make sure that he's satisfied. I mean, you got to make sure you're good. So that has to be 110%. So you can't even say that, well, I mean, technically you are putting yourself first, but you're putting yourself first to make sure that you keep your man. And when you put yourself Jenny, first... you talk so <laughs> fucking much, dog. <laughs> oh, no, she did Just ruined my video. Did you just ruin my video? <laughs> Slow down. Really? Slow down. You're talking too fast. Am I? <sighs> okay, I'm out. And this is S K Y Y L I, and I'm out here.